The way you play Conan Exiles is about to change. The tavern system coming in the Age of War Chapter 3 update seems simple on the surface, but the potential here is insane. Today I'll be showing you how to use the tavern system, and telling you why I think this might just revolutionise Conan Exiles. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, we need somebody to man the bar, so we need to get ourselves a bartender. They need rescuing from the purge, so I slapped together a quick purge base that we can defend. There's no real point to it, we'll basically just be deleting the purge waves and checking the cages to free our favourite intoxicant supplier. I ran about 25 purges of varying levels and I actually didn't find a barkeep. I've not seen anybody else report this, so I've probably just got unlucky, so for now we'll spawn one in. If you talk to them, you'll be able to learn the tavern building feat, which will teach you how to build the tavern bar, of course the most important part of the tavern. I've set up this little building here, which will build our tavern bar inside. They must be serving some good stuff here, as we've already attracted three patrons, but we do need a bit more real estate. That's much better. It's mostly thralls in here, though there are a couple of patrons that have rocked up, it does seem there's something of a limit on how many can just show up. They appear to show up basically as soon as you build the bar, but obviously more seating will lead to more patrons, though currently there aren't a lot of them. There are a mix of patrons, both ones that you can interact with, and ones you can't. If we take a little stroll through the bar, we've actually got a tier 2 Kushite Exile near the counter. We can hire her with 50 gold coins, but if we don't want her, then we'd have to just wait for her to get bored and leave, unfortunately. Funnily enough, after I purchased her, you can actually see how the other patrons arrive. They'll spawn nearby and just wander into the bar. The pathing can be kinda yikes depending on how walkable your tavern is, this probably isn't the best example, but the NPCs don't need to be seated for you to hire them. Once you've hired them, they again can get a bit jammed up depending on your layout. However, fortunately, you can hire them at any point, even the moment they spawn. Beyond just hiring thralls, that's not all you can do here. If we pop over to the barmaid, we can talk to her for a bit of dialogue. She'll also sell you some sustenance in the form of alcohol or food, but the most interesting feature here is enlist contacts. Here you can pay a lump sum of gold to call a contact to the tavern for a set period of time. Iskar the Sellsword is currently the only option as, well, he's our only real contact, sort of the Billy No Mate of the Exile Lands. However, this does give an alternative path when it comes to buying raid supplies from him, as you don't have to run through a purge and hope he's in the cages. That doesn't sound that big of an advantage, but considering the purges are between 10 and 20 minutes, you can save yourself a fair bit of time. On top of all the gameplay features, the tavern system actually has a reason to build a bar. Previously, the idea of building a tavern was very much a roleplay focused thing, there's no real point to building one outside of aesthetics, and you had no chance of really populating it without mods. Now with thralls able to sit on furniture, and NPCs actually coming in to hang out, it's the first real step that makes the game feel a bit more alive. Now, don't get me wrong, the system still has a fair bit of jank. NPCs can have a rough time pathing, you can't kick unwanted potential hires out of the bar, hired thralls can get a bit jammed up, and the spawn rate of the tavern keeper from the purge seems to be quite low, although that is from my admittedly small sample size. However, I do genuinely think the system could be a game changer. Whilst it's in its infancy now, and does definitely need some polishing, this is what a lot of people have asked for. A world that feels more alive, which will improve even more once all the thralls become world thralls and carpenters, for example, can just wander in. Dennis, the lead designer of Conan Exiles, described the system as sowing the seeds of adventure, and I think that really encapsulates the potential of this system. Right now we can only summon Iskar through the contact system, but in the future, the tavern is going to be the de facto adventure hub and a place to tie everything together. Conan doesn't really have a hub area, there are definitely big points of interest like Sepameru, but nothing to tie the stories and the people of the Exile Lands together. Not only is that hub now being established, but we are in total control of the hub inside our base, even down to the aesthetics of it. The only part that absolutely has to be in place is of course the tavern bar itself, so this is a very flexible system. Again, I really do think this is going to be a game changer for Conan Exiles. This isn't the Purge or similar updates where they're updated and then essentially left in their revamped state, which isn't a bad thing, but you know. 
this system is a core part of the game that will constantly be updated. Some things definitely do need some polish, especially the ability to kick out thralls that you don't want to hire, but overall I'm really optimistic about this feature, and I think that in a year's time this could easily prove to be a turning point for Conan Exiles. Thank you for watching, and of course a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. Again, some polish is definitely needed, but I'm excited to see the system develop. Do let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll be covering more Age of War Chapter 3 stuff, so subscribe while you're there as well. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.